In 2016, an international team of physicists made an impossible detection beneath the El Castillo Pyramid at Chichen Itza. Hidden chambers, sealed for over 1,000 years, that no archaeologist knew existed. The technology that found them? Cosmic rays from collapsing stars traveling millions of light years through space to penetrate solid limestone like an X-ray machine the size of the universe. Right now, researchers are analyzing what these scans reveal, and it's forcing us to rewrite the story of Maya engineering. This is how particles from deep space are unlocking secrets buried beneath one of the world's most famous monuments. Welcome to Amazing Earth. Deep in Mexico's Yucatan jungle stands El Castillo, the temple of Kukulkan at Chichen Itza. It rises 24 meters above the forest canopy, a massive steppe pyramid that has dominated this landscape for over a thousand years. But what you see on the surface is only part of the story. El Castillo isn't one pyramid, it's three pyramids, built one inside the other like Russian nesting dolls. The outermost structure, the one tourists used to climb before a fatal accident in 2006 banned access was completed around 1000 CE. Hidden within it is an earlier temple from roughly 800 CE. And inside that, an even older pyramid dating to the early 600 CE. Each generation of Maya builders chose not to destroy the old temple, but to honor it by encasing it in something grander. In the 1930s, archaeologists tunneled into these inner layers and found something extraordinary. A jaguar throne, painted brilliant red. Its spots inlaid with jade so precisely that pieces fit into grooves without mortar. Next to it sat a Chakmuul statue, a reclining figure holding a plate for offerings. These weren't decorations. They were sacred objects, sealed inside when the chamber was closed forever. Compressed value, jade from Guatemala, labor of hundreds, meant only for the gods. But here's the question that has haunted archaeologists for decades. What if there's more? What if deeper chambers remain hidden, untouched for a millennium? For years, that question was unanswerable. You can't drill into a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Any invasive exploration risks destroying the very thing you're trying to discover. That's where the cosmic rays changed everything. To understand why scientists are so determined to see inside El Castillo, you need to understand what Chichen Itza was. This wasn't just another Maya city. At its peak, between 900 and 1200 CE, Chichen Itza was a political and religious powerhouse that dominated the northern Yucatan. It was a pilgrimage destination, a trading hub, and an astronomical observatory rolled into one. The Maya who built El Castillo were obsessed with cosmic cycles. They tracked Venus with precision that rivals modern astronomy. They calculated the solar year to 365.2420 days, just 0.0002 days off from our current measurement. And they encoded this knowledge directly into their architecture. El Castillo itself is a calendar in stone. Four staircases, each with 91 steps, plus the top platform, equals 365, the days in a solar year. During the spring and autumn equinoxes, the setting sun creates a shadow pattern on the pyramid's northern staircase that looks exactly like a serpent descending from heaven to earth. Thousands gather twice a year to watch this ancient light show. But the Maya didn't build monuments just for astronomical demonstrations. They built them as portals, connections between the world of the living and the realm of gods and ancestors. Which brings us to the cenote. Just north of El Castillo lies the sacred cenote, a massive natural sinkhole 60 meters wide and 27 meters deep. For centuries, the Maya threw offerings into its dark waters, jade, gold, incense, pottery. And according to Spanish chronicles written after the conquest, human sacrifices. In the early 1900s, archeologist Edward Thompson dredged the cenote and found thousands of artifacts, confirming the Spanish accounts. But here's what matters. 
the cenote wasn't just a place of sacrifice. It was believed to be an entrance to Jabalba, the Maya underworld, and El Castillo sits directly adjacent to it. Some archaeologists believe the pyramid itself may have functioned as a symbolic gateway to the underworld, with sealed chambers representing the layers of Jabalba described in Maya mythology. If that's true, what lies hidden inside might not be a royal tomb at all. It could be something far more sacred. Ritual objects, astronomical records, perhaps even codices, Maya books that could contain knowledge lost when Spanish conquistadors burned nearly every Maya text in the 16th century. This is why the voids detected by muon scans matter so much. They're not just empty spaces. They could be time capsules from one of the most sophisticated civilizations in human history. Here's where the story gets strange. The technology revealing El Castillo's secrets wasn't invented by archaeologists. It was discovered by physicists studying the atmosphere. Muons are subatomic particles created when cosmic rays, high-energy particles from supernovas and dying stars, collide with Earth's upper atmosphere. Every second, about 10,000 muons pass through every square meter of the planet's surface, through buildings, through mountains, through pyramids. Most matter is essentially transparent to muons, they zip through stone, water, and flesh without slowing down. But here's the key. Dense material absorbs slightly more muons than empty space. By placing detectors beneath a structure and counting how many muons arrive from different angles, scientists can create a density map, an X-ray image generated by particles from space. This technique is called muon tomography and it's been used to scan everything from nuclear reactors to Egyptian pyramids. If this investigation is living up to your expectations so far, hit the like button. It tells YouTube this is the kind of in-depth content worth recommending. In 2016, a team led by Mexican physicist Arturo Menchaca placed muon detectors inside the tunnels that archaeologists had dug into El Castillo decades earlier. For months, the detectors sat in darkness, silently counting particles. Each muon that passed through left a trace, a digital breadcrumb revealing the density of stone above. When the team analyzed the data, they found anomalies, regions where muons pass through more easily than expected, voids, potential chambers in areas that had never been excavated. One anomaly appeared near the center of the pyramid deep within the oldest structure. Another showed up in an unexpected location on the northern side. The scans weren't detailed enough to reveal what these spaces contained, or even their exact size, but they were there. Empty spaces where solid stone should be. The discovery made headlines worldwide, but it also raised a question that still hasn't been answered. What now? So scientists have detected hidden chambers inside one of the world's most protected monuments. The next step should be obvious. Go look inside. Except it's not that simple. El Castillo is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mexican law prohibits any invasive exploration that could damage the structure. You can't drill, you can't excavate, you can't even install permanent monitoring equipment without years of approval processes involving multiple government agencies. And there's a reason for these restrictions. In the 1930s, when archaeologists tunneled into El Castillo's inner pyramids, they had to shore up passages with steel beams to prevent collapse. Those tunnels are still there, slowly degrading. Every visitor who walked through them, until access was closed in 2006, contributed to erosion. The Jaguar Throne's jade inlays have dulled from decades of touching. The Maya built these chambers to last forever, sealed and protected. Modern exploration, no matter how careful, inevitably causes damage. But here's the tension. If we don't explore, we'll never know what's inside. And if the chambers contain organic material, codices, wooden artifacts, textiles, they may already be degrading. The longer we wait, the more we risk losing forever. Some archaeologists argue for minimal intervention, 
more muon scans, ground-penetrating radar, remote sensing technologies that don't require physical contact. Map the voids, document them, and leave them sealed for future generations with better technology. Others believe that's a mistake. Technology exists now to explore these chambers with fiber optic cameras inserted through millimeter wide boreholes. The risk of damage is minimal. The potential for discovery is enormous. Why wait? As of 2025, no decision has been made. The chambers remain sealed. The muon data sits in archives, analyzed and reanalyzed, but never acted upon. And so El Castillo keeps its secrets, for now. So what could be hidden inside these chambers? Let's start with what we know from similar discoveries. When archeologists opened the second pyramid in 1937, they found the Jaguar Throne, a sculpture so well-preserved that its jade inlays still gleamed after 500 years in darkness. The chamber had been intentionally sealed, creating a stable environment that protected everything inside. If the newly detected voids were sealed the same way, organic materials could have survived. And that changes everything. The Maya created thousands of codices, folded bark paper books containing astronomical tables, ritual calendars, medicinal knowledge, and historical records. Spanish conquistadors and Catholic priests systematically destroyed nearly all of them in the 16th century. Today, only four confirmed Maya codices exist in the entire world. If even one codex survived inside El Castillo, it would be the archeological discovery of the century. We could finally read Maya history in their own words, not filtered through Spanish chronicles written by conquerors. But codices aren't the only possibility. The chambers could contain astronomical instruments, tools the Maya used to track Venus cycles and predict eclipses with stunning accuracy. They could hold royal burial goods, ceremonial masks, or offerings to the gods. They might even contain construction records that explain how the Maya built El Castillo with such mathematical precision, knowledge that could help us preserve the pyramid for future generations. Or the voids could be empty, architectural features designed for acoustics or ventilation, symbolic spaces never meant to hold physical objects. We won't know until we look inside. But here's what matters. Every pyramid we've explored has revealed something unexpected. The Jaguar throne wasn't predicted. The Chakmul statue wasn't anticipated. The Maya were masters of surprise, encoding layers of meaning into every structure. Whatever lies inside El Castillo's hidden chambers, it will almost certainly challenge what we think we know about this civilization. What do you think is hidden inside El Castillo? A lost codex? Royal burial goods? Or something we haven't even considered? Share your theory in the comments. I read every single one. Here's where the story stands today. The Muon scans from 2016 detected at least two potential chambers inside El Castillo. The data has been peer-reviewed, published, and confirmed. The voids are real. But as of November 2025, no physical exploration has been approved. The chambers remain sealed, exactly as the Maya left them over a thousand years ago. This isn't unusual. When muon tomography detected a hidden void above the Grand Gallery in Egypt's Great Pyramid in 2017, it took years of debate before any exploration plan was proposed. And that plan still hasn't been executed. These discoveries move at geological speed. The difference is this. El Castillo isn't just a tomb. It's a functioning ceremonial site. Every spring equinox, thousands of visitors still gather to watch the serpent shadow descend the pyramid steps, just as the Maya did centuries ago. The structure is alive, in a way most ancient monuments are not. And that makes the decision harder. Do we risk disturbing a sacred site to satisfy scientific curiosity? Or do we accept that some mysteries are meant to remain sealed? Guillermo de Onda, the archaeologist who spent decades studying Chichen Itza's cenotes and tunnels, believes we'll eventually explore the chambers, but not yet. 
The technology improves every year, he said in a 2019 interview. Better sensors, less invasive methods. Sometimes the best thing we can do for archaeology is wait. So the cosmic particles keep falling. The muon detectors could be reinstalled tomorrow, gathering more data, refining the images of what lies beneath. And somewhere deep inside El Castillo, in chambers that haven't seen light in a millennium, the Maya's final secrets remain untouched, for now. But if history has taught us anything about this pyramid, it's this. El Castillo always reveals its secrets eventually, just never when or how we expect. If this video interests you, you may also enjoy exploring these pre-Columbian archaeological sites, Teotihuacan and Machu Picchu.